the last recipe in Bluey's cookbook is pavlova. So I don't like this recipe mainly because uh, what's ingredient number one? You need pavlova. Yeah, you need pavlova to make pavlova. That feels like cheating that they expect you to get like pre-made pavlova for this recipe, especially because uh, pavlova is not something that they really sell in stores here in America. I did check the bakery. They had a uh, Boston cream pies and New York cheesecakes. So all our pastries are based on American cities, uh, not pavlova. So I'm going to have to make it by hand. What you do is you take a uh, egg whites, uh, four or five egg whites. You take a uh, half tablespoon of cream of tartar. Just put it in there. A lot of people use, they, they don't use tartar. Uh, they, they, they use lemon instead. So you could use lemon, uh, just this lemonade, lemon juice, lemon juice, right. So just use the, an equal amount of lemon juice if you don't have cream of tartar. Uh, a little bit of salt, eight teaspoons salt. And we have a fourth cup of sugar. Uh, I don't have a fourth cup. I, I'm just going to use half of the half cup because that will be a fourth. And so what you need to do is you, you take your egg whites. These are just egg whites. You, you don't have the yolks in them. You take the egg whites and you're going to mix them on high with your little mixer here. <laughs> so you do that until they, they form little soft peaks, which will look like this. I think those are peaks. There are a lot of bubbles in, in the egg whites because that's what beating it does. It, it puts like air and bubbles inside the egg whites. So when you're about halfway through with that, you're gonna start putting in the sugar. So you like put in a little bit of sugar, then you beat it in, then put in some more sugar and beat it in. You just repeat the process until all the sugar is added and you have firm peaks on your egg whites. It'll look like this. Okay, I beat the egg whites on high for 10 minutes straight. This is what it looks like. Hopefully it looks different from the way it looked 10 minutes ago. Uh, you're supposed to put it on uh, parchment paper, uh, about nine inch circle, and then you're gonna cook it in your oven at 350 for 10 minutes. Sorry about that. I tried putting it on the parchment paper, but it's mostly liquid and it's sort of spread out everywhere. So I'm gonna put it in the pie tin instead. That was messy. Now I'll cook it for 10 minutes at 350. While that's baking, I'll do the part that's actually in the cookbook. Uh, step number two, you're going to take heavy cream or whipping cream and you're just gonna mix it in a bowl until you get the same sort of effect. You're gonna have like white peaks. This is what it looks like after two to three minutes. And wow, does that make a mess. Just a huge mess, oh my gosh. Well, this will be the topping for the pavlova. I have to warn everybody, this is where I went wrong with the recipe. I should have beat the cream for another five minutes or so but I didn't because my hand was already tired. As a result of underbeating, the cream was mostly liquid instead of solid. It made a huge mess inside my fridge and on my floor. If I made this recipe again, I would skip the handmade cream and use whipped cream as a topping instead. So here is the base and here is the top. Let me put them together. And there's the pavlova. You're supposed to decorate the top with blueberries, strawberries, and kiwis, things like that. I got some, but my family ate them all before I could make this recipe. So I'm gonna put it in the fridge for a few hours so it will harden. This is what the final dish looks like. Besides for the mess with the cream, it was okay. It tastes like sugar mixed with eggs, which is exactly what it is. I can understand why kids would like pavlova. Eggs and sugar are a yummy combo. It's not bad. I wouldn't recommend it because it takes over 20 minutes of nothing but mixing to complete this recipe. If preparing your recipe takes longer than an episode of Bluey, I'm sorry, it is not a simple kid's recipe. It does not deserve a 1 out of 3 difficulty rating. I give it a 3 out of 3 for difficulty.